Good evening, Marshall Marvels. This is Mrs. Price with your Monday message for the week of April 27th, 2020. This week's quote of the week, you were made to be awesome by Kid President. A recap of last week. Last week, we reminded you how important it was to connect with us using the online lessons. Please remember that nothing replaces the time that you spend in front of your teachers, and we want to continue to encourage students and families to connect with your teachers through the online lessons. We also reminded you that we have some scanner apps that can be used along with the cameras on your phones to connect and submit work to your teachers if you are completing your assignments using the paper curriculum. Please continue to use photo scan or cam scanner or your camera on your smartphone or tablet to submit work to your teachers. Finally, we had a lot of fun last week with our baby picture challenge on Facebook. Thank you to all of you who came over to Facebook and took a look at all of our faculty and staff members, cute little baby pictures, and had some fun guessing who was who when they were a little bit younger. New for this week, progress reports will be mailed out to families this week and they will be available on the parent portal online. Uh, within the next couple of days, you should be able to see your students' grades if you're connected to the parent portal. Please keep in mind, uh, parents, that the grades the students are receiving are reflective of the work that they have completed since our campus has been closed. Um, we realize that there have been challenges that many of you have faced with getting online and with receiving the paper packets. So if you have any questions or concerns that come up with your child's grades, please communicate with your child's teacher when you receive the grades and know that we're doing everything that we can and will continue to do everything that we can to work with you with regards to your child's grades. Remember that the semester is not over. We do still have um, the entire month of May uh, for students to submit work, and to get those grades pulled up if you're not happy with the grade that you see. We want to continue to encourage you to access our online lessons. Every week, our teachers are doing live lessons in addition to recorded lessons that they're placing on the YouTube channel. Remember that nothing replaces the time that your child spends in front of his or her teacher. So if you have any way that you can access the lessons via YouTube or via Teams, we do encourage you to help your child in accessing the lessons online. Finally, this week, we're gonna have a little fun with what we're calling the Get Up and Get Out Challenge. We've been stuck inside of our homes now for five weeks and the weather is kind of nice. So in order to encourage everyone to get up and get out of the house, we want to challenge students and staff members and their families to get up and get outside and enjoy the fresh air. Dribble a basketball or a soccer ball, play with a jump rope or a hula hoop, chase your dog, uh, just run some laps, enjoy being outdoors, getting outside and moving. If you would like to submit a picture or video of your child or your family getting up and getting out this week, you can send those to thurgoodes at houstonisd.org. We'll be sharing some of those images on our Facebook page and uh, compiling a video for our YouTube channel and also tweeting some of those. Um, so we'll be sharing the Get Up and Get Out Challenge photos and videos throughout our various social media platforms this week. We encourage you to participate. We look forward to seeing you getting up and getting out. This week, we wanna remind you that being stuck at home does not mean we can't experience new things. Join our wonderful counselor, Ms. Kite, for a virtual field trip to the Universe Soul Circus by following this link to a YouTube video. We're going to be trying to provide our families with multiple opportunities to experience new places and new experiences via the internet over the next couple of weeks. So we hope that you'll take advantage of this virtual field trip to the Universal Circus. Remember families that HISD at Home has a television channel. You can access 
video lessons at home on Mondays and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. in English and on Wednesdays from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. in Spanish. Please tune in and take advantage of these awesome lessons presented by awesome teachers in HISD. We want to give some shout outs to some fantastic kindergarten through second grade students. Your teachers have noticed the hard work that you've been doing. And so to the following students, please make sure you come on and read what your teachers have to say about you. Adrian Lucio, Nikayla Woods, Christian Lucio, Eliana Morales, Davion Cole, Xavion Bell, Ariana Wells, Dallas Jones, Lariah Davis, Scuzman. Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah Price, Kylos Buckingham, Savannah Smith, Houston Thomas, and Zoe Sykes. Congratulations and thank you for being stellar students. More shout outs for students in third to fifth grade. Uh, Analith Cornejo, Jonathan Chavez, Amaria Williams, Kenesia Ards, Anna Valeria Segundo, all second grade bilingual students, Kamora Bruno, Jacob Corona, Eva Avila, and Nia Pugh. Congratulations to all of our fantastic students in kindergarten through fifth grade. Come on and take a look at what your teachers have to say about you. Last week, we announced our Imagine Learning Contest. We announced that students who logged the most minutes were going to be eligible for some fantastic prizes, and we have some students to celebrate. We took a look at the students' minutes from April 13th through April 26th, and here are our winners. For Imagine Literacy, for kindergarten, Nikayla Woods, three hours and 27 minutes. First grade, Joshua Shoemate, five hours and three minutes. Second grade, Jaylene Lopez, seven hours. Third grade, David Reboyar, two hours and nine minutes. Fourth grade, Sarah E. Lopez, three hours and 10 minutes. Fifth grade, Fernando Lopez, five hours and 34 minutes. Congratulations to our top winners for the last two weeks for Imagine Literacy. And we also have our second and third place winners for each grade level listed here. Way to go students, keep up the fantastic work on Imagine Literacy. For Imagine Espanol, our winners for kindergarten, Elian Hernandez, four hours and 44 minutes. First grade, Atsaida, Martinez, two hours and 12 minutes. Second grade, Jaylene Lopez, four hours and 47 minutes. Third grade, Yabdiel Torado, five hours and 20 minutes. Congratulations to all of our Imagine Espanol winners, as well as our second and third place award winners. Finally, Imagine Math, our kindergarten top Prize winner with six hours and 46 minutes, Kristen Torado. First grade, eight hours and three minutes, Aaliyah Price. Second grade, Jamarian Patterson, three hours and 29 minutes. With two hours and 46 minutes from third grade, Geraldine Artiaga. Four hours and 19 minutes for fourth grade, Delisa Cantu Castillo. And fifth grade, 10 hours and 50 minutes, on Imagine Math, Erica Castaneda. Congratulations to all of our Imagine Learning, Imagine Espanol, and Imagine Math winners. This week, you all will be receiving a prize pack of a family movie night prize pack or a family game, game night prize pack that I will be delivering to your homes. We'll be contacting you this week to um, get your information and find out when the best time is for me to come by and leave a little goodie bag for you and wave from a distance and tell you how proud I am of you. Keep up the great work. If you didn't win this week, the new minutes started today. So beginning today, April 27th, and for the next two weeks, we'll be paying attention to how many hours and minutes every student is logged on, logged on to Imagine Literacy, Imagine um, Espanol, and Imagine Math. Let's keep up the fantastic work and see who's going to win that top prize. We want to remind you that we have a way for you to send a shout out to all of the wonderful staff members who are working to provide support to your families during this time. If there's something nice that you want to say to your child's teacher or to any member of the staff who has helped you during the last couple of weeks, please use the link below to send a message 
to the fantastic adults who are working with your students. Uh, we want to remember to recognize the hard work that they are putting in for all of the Marshall families. We will share the link also via Class Dojo and our Facebook page. Finally, remember that we have multiple ways of staying connected with our campus for all of our families. You can find information on our campus website. You can send an email through our email address, thirgoodes at houstonisd.org. We also have our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages and channels. Please connect to, to us uh, using these avenues as well as through Class Dojo. We want to make sure that in addition to uh, connecting through your child's teacher, you know all the different ways that you can communicate with us during this time of closure. Finally, we just want to remind you of how much we miss you. Um, this will be the same every week. It's not going to change. We miss seeing our wonderful students. We miss seeing our wonderful parents. We miss being with you every day. We miss being able to give you hugs. We want you to stay safe. We want you to stay healthy, but we want you to stay connected. So on behalf of your Marshall family, this is Mrs. Price telling you to have a fantastic week. We look forward to hearing from you through one of our media platforms, and you will hear from me again next week. Let's have a fantastic week. Bye.